Hi guys! So, uh, this is the part 2 of the account titles used in accounting. So, let's have a recap. Uh, there are two types of accounts, which are the balance sheet and then the income statement. Balance sheet has three elements, the assets, the liabilities, and then the owner's equity. Pero hindi na natin masyadong i-discuss to kasi it's, it has been discussed on the part 1. So, the part 2 is the income statement. Income statement has two elements, the revenue and then the expenses. Revenue or income is the cash or other assets earned by the company's operations and business activities. So, ito yung kinikita ng kumpanya because of their operation at business activities. Ang revenue ay mayroong service revenue account which is earned by performing services for the customer. So, ibig sabihin kapag nagtrabaho yung company for the client or for the customer, ang tawag doon na account is service revenue. Let's say, uh, they did a painting job or maybe uh, they did uh, accounting uh, bookkeeping. So, those are the service revenue. Then, we also have the sales. Sales is the earned is earned as a result of the sale of merchandise. So, kapag ang, ang activity naman ng isang company is they sell product or goods to the customer, ang kita doon, ang tawag is sales. Then, the second element is the expenses. Expenses are the cost of an asset used by the company in its operations to produce revenues. So, the first type of expenses is the of expense is the cost of sales. Cost of sales is the cost incurred to purchase or to produce the products sold to customer during the period. Uh, I'll give you an example. Let's say uh, yung company nagbenta ng t-shirt. Ang benta nila sa isang t-shirt is uh, 1,000 pesos. Then, pero ang, ang bili nila dun sa t-shirt is just 600 pesos. Yung 600 pesos na yun, ang tawag dun is cost of sales or the cost of goods sold. Then, we have the salaries expense. Salaries expense is the cost incurred to pay the employee. So, kapag nagbabayad ka ng sahod ng empleyado, ang tawag dun na account is salaries expense. Ang utilities expense naman is the cost incurred by using utilities such as electricity, water, waste disposal, and heating. So, kapag nagbabayad ka naman ng kuryente, ng tubig, ng kumpanya, ang account title dun is the utilities expense. Then, we have the rent expense. Rent expense is the expense for the space, equipment, and other asset rentals. Ah... Uh, once nagbayad ka ng renta ng, ng space nyo, o kaya minsan mga equipment, minsan ng mga company, nagre-renta sila ng machinery sa mga equipments. They also rent a uh, service vehicle. Kapag ganun yung mga instances at binayaran nila yun, ang tawag doon is rent expense. Then, supplies expense naman is the expense of using supplies. If maaalala nyo sa first part, Kapag ang company bumili ng supplies at hindi pa naman nagagamit, that is considered an asset. Ang tawag nga doon is supplies account. But then, once nagamit mo na yung supplies, ang tawag na doon is supplies expense. Just the same as insurance expense. Insurance expense naman is the portion of premium paid on insurance coverage which has expired. So, let's say... Uh, Nagbayad ang company ng insurance from January to December. Tapos ngayon ay April na. Let's say end of April na. So ngayon, ba ang tawag doon sa January to April na insurance, since nagamit na siya, na-expire na siya, that is insurance expense. Then, we have the interest expense. So, interest expense, ito yung mga binayaran mong interest rate doon sa mga nabaro mong, uh, nabaro ng kumpanyang 
fund from maybe from uh, from banko or maybe from other lenders. Alright, so yun lang naman yung sa income statement. So before I leave, meron akong iniwang exercise here for you guys to recall kung talagang naintindihan nyo yung mga yung mga na-discuss ko from starting from part 1 to until now, part 2. So, madali lang naman to. Just classify each account, whether it is an asset, a liability, an owner's equity, a revenue, or an expense. Uh, the answer will be on the description below. Thank you!